Hiya, my name is Sarah Sheridan. I'm a writer and I've been asked to do a recipe and I'm a pretty lazy cook. So I've decided to do a recipe, it's a lunchtime recipe uh, that I use probably once every couple of weeks and it's for Colin Skink and it's no messing around, pretty easy. The first thing you need is a potato all chopped up into lumps and you need a couple of medium sized smoked haddock. Um, I sometimes use Arbor Smokies actually for this, but there was no Arbor Smokies today in the market at Edinburgh Farmer's Market. So I ended up with my um, smoked haddock. And then this is my secret ingredient. Um, it is just milk, but I bought it at the farmer's market and it comes from the farm and it's so delicious and creamy and it just knocks supermarket milk out of the park. And all you do is put that in a pot and bring it up to boil. And then once it's at boil, you let it simmer over it until the potatoes are soft. And then we'll come back and have another look at it. So this has been simmering, I mean, it's not even really been 10 minutes, but the potatoes cooked. And um, I'm just gonna take the top off there so you can see. And it's just so simple. And I think the reason it tastes so good is because the ingredients are just absolutely pucka. Now, you can liquidise this. Some people liquidise this soup. I don't like it like that. I like it quite, um, quite chunky. But you want to thicken up the milk. So what you do is you crush some of the potato into it so that it thickens up. And if you want to, you can add a bit of corn flour, but I never feel like it needs it. The whole kitchen smells amazing, by the way. Um, it's that yellow fish smell, what my mum used to call yellow fish when we were kids. Um, that's it. That's Cullen Skink. My friend puts onion in her Cullen Skink, but I strongly disagree with this because I think the fish is so smoky that you really don't need it. And in fact, it's one of those things you've got to taste to know how to season because the fish can be quite salty. So that does need a little bit of salt. I'm putting in some sea salt there, but not too much. And really you have to keep tasting it as you go along, because if you over salt it, it'll be absolutely mean. <laughs> and I'm just gonna give that another wee taste. That's corking. And then some pepper. I sometimes use Arbo Smoky instead of the smoked haddock. Um, and that can work really well as well, but there was no Arbo Smoky stall today at the farmer's market, so we ended up with the haddock. And honestly, that's it. If you're feeling fancy, you can put in some chopped dill or flat leaf parsley, or maybe some chopped chives. If you're feeling super fancy, maybe if it's Friday, uh, you can put in some brown shrimp a handful of brown shrimp right at the end because you don't really need all that much cooking quite often you buy them cooked already actually and what i would say to you is if you're the sort of person that doesn't use <coughs> whole milk <coughs> excuse me i got a little bit of pepper there if you're the sort of person that doesn't like to use whole milk you now need to add cream to it at this stage um so we we use the whole milk from the market and it is actually probably a little bit creamier than the supermarket milk even the whole milk so um if you're using supermarket milk you might want to just give it a little bit of a cream up and that and that's mccullen's game it's yummy i'm going to put that on and um we're going to have a bowl of that for lunch every day for a couple of days hope you enjoy it